Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I'm doing this preview, uh, Norwich versus Chelsea, right after watching that epic comeback from Real Madrid. I mean, that was something. Uh, Karim Benzema in the second half was electric. And now back to reality, ladies and gentlemen. And um, guess what? Reese James is injured once again. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Here we go back again on the other side of the coin. Welcome back to the other side of the coin, ladies and gentlemen. Norwich versus Chelsea. These games could be very, very tricky. Norwich in the bottom of the pit. I mean, they're more or less relegated, but you know, you best believe they're going to fight still. Uh, mathematically, I think they still have a possibility. So we can't take this lightly. And... I have to be honest, we are cursed in terms of injuries. And once again, Rhys James has news that apparently he's going to be out for at least four matches from Matt Law, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm correct. He just tweeted out. Look, let's get straight into the lineup. This is where we're going to have a lot more of the conversation about the press conference and whatnot. Um, and I want to keep this very, very snappy, ladies and gentlemen. Look, with the news of Rhys James possibly out for the next four games, I... I don't want us to pursue playing the back three. We don't have wing backs to play this kind of football. And I feel like against a team like Norwich, we should try and accommodate for the four at the back, traditional four at the back, and let's play with another attacker as opposed to another defender. And let's not have overlapping fullbacks and whatnot. We don't have the facilities, my man. We don't have the facilities. So for me, it may not happen like this, but I would play, I would play a traditional four at the back. Um, I, I feel like we do need to find other ways of playing our football. When we don't have Reese James and Ben Chilwell, we've seen we struggle. We struggle to play the three at the back because we don't get the width from the wing backs. They're not as good as Reese James. Reese James have scored five goals. Or is it six goals or something like that in the Premier League? Five goals and six assists, 11 goal contribution. That's the kind of caliber you need on that right side if you're going to have a wing back. And that's the caliber we had with Ben Chilwell as well. Now we don't have that. Let's not try and do this. That's my plea. Uh, but look, all up to Thomas Tuchel. Of course, this is just my point of view. That's why I'm giving just my opinion on it. Thomas Tuchel, of course, I'm. Pretty certain he's going to go with the three at the back, but I'm sticking with the four because I feel like three at the back is just, it's counterproductive. It's counterproductive. In goals, ladies and gentlemen, I'll have Mendy. I'll have Rudiger. It's lots of talks about Rudiger, what's happening with his contract. It's up in the air and it's understandable with the new owners. God knows what's going to happen. Christensen, ladies and gentlemen, there's talks, you know, Thomas Tuchel in the press conference was saying that, he still hopes that Christensen sticks around. He wants Christensen to stick around. He thinks, you know, staying at Chelsea is the best thing for him. Um, he's also mentioned he's been a pivotal member of the squad. But Christensen, ladies and gentlemen, apparently there's news. He will be announced as a Barcelona player very, very soon. So it's done and dusted. He's going to Barcelona. Going with Silva um, or, or Chalaba. I'd, I'd stick with Silva here. Um, Rudiger and Silva, a uh, supreme combination. In the right back, I don't know whether Aspilicueta is back, uh, but as far as in the press conference, uh, there was nothing said that Aspi is not ready. I would have Aspi here. In the left back, look, if Alonso is fit, but I think he's just coming back from the positive testing, so I'm not really sure whether he's going to start. I'll go with Saar. In the lone sort of deepest midfielder, who do you play? I, I mean probably have to stick with Jorginho. And this is a match I don't mind, obviously, playing Jorginho against um, against Norwich. On the left side, Kovacic. On the right side, it's a game I probably don't need Angolo Kante. I don't want to risk any injuries either against Norwich. Um, they've had a bit of break as well, obviously, but I, I'd go with... I, I want to see Mount in midfield. I think this is a position where he does a lot better. So I wouldn't mind seeing Mount there. And, and let's be honest, Mount playing from deeper position is a lot better than playing in these inside forward sort of uh, sort of positions or in the wing. Especially in a four at the back, Mount definitely can't play as a winger. So I'd have him in, as, as a midfielder. And I think to get his form back, he needs to come back into midfield. 
in the right, I'm hoping Ziyech is fit now and I'll have Ziyech up, uh, up on the right side. That's where he plays his best as the widest right player where he can cut in, um, he can link up with Mount, he can link up with Havertz. I'm going to have Havertz there. He's a lot more devastating there. Up front, Kai Havertz. There's no chance of Lukaku coming back. And Thomas Tuchel said it in the press conference as well, ladies and gentlemen, that he's in his element at the moment, Kai Havertz. He's working hard for the team. He also acknowledged that there was a moment where, where Havertz wasn't that great and, you know, he was finding it difficult. But now, physically, he's looking good. His intensity is good. Working extremely hard for the team. Scoring goals, assisting as well. Kai Havertz, ladies and gentlemen, leads the line for me. And to wrap up the team over here, I have to continue with Christian Pulisic. I think he's shown some form of consistency in recent times. Yes, that Liverpool game, he missed an opportunity, but still he was there, thereabouts. Um, last game against Burnley was very good as well, scored a goal, assisted a uh, goal as well. Um, before that against Lille, he was very good. So I want to see Pulisic get that opportunity. I think Callum and is still not ready as well uh, with that injury. And Timo Werner is probably a man that's on the way out. And he's a good option to have off the bench. And off the bench, you can also have Ruben Loftus-Cheek as well. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the team that I'd go with. Mendy in goalkeeping position. Rudiger, Silva, Aspilicueta, Saar, Jorginho, Mount, Kovacic, Ziyech, Pulisic, Havertz. That, I think, should be more than enough to take care of Norwich. No disrespect to Norwich, ladies and gentlemen. I'm expecting us to clean them up. 2-0, 3-0. And this is the thing, no Reese James. If Reese James was there, I would be okay to play the back three. I'd be absolutely okay to play the back three um, and perhaps Ziyech misses out. And the crazy part is Ziyech has been absent for the last few games and already some people in the in the social media, uh, you know, thinking, oh, Ziyech, how's he going to come back into the team? Mount needs it. Like, it's just mad. We've already forgotten that Ziyech was a key member. He's one of the key attackers. So I want to play around Ziyech. If, if Reese was available, I would want to play around Reese. Reese is not available. I want to play around Ziyech um, because I feel like he will get the best out of Havertz and Christian Pulisic as well. So for me, that's the team. Two to three nil, two nil, three nil. Three nil is what I'm expecting. Once again, as I said, not disrespecting Norwich. Billy Gilmore won't be able to play. I mean, he's, he's on loan. The loan, I personally don't think has worked out. We'll see what we do with him next season. And I don't want this game to be a banana skin. We need to continue going and winning this particular fixture and ensure that we're not in a dogfight in that top four. Uh, some big games coming up for Arsenal. So, you know, they, we could put up a distance between them. They do have some games in hand as well on us. So we need to continue on winning. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know what your thoughts are, how you would proceed with this particular match. I'm just still uh, just thinking about that comeback, Real Madrid. Did honestly in the Champions League, hopefully we go through against Lille. I wouldn't mind playing Real Madrid. I think Real Madrid is a team that we can beat. They've got distinct issues as well, Real Madrid, um, especially in that fullback position. Their midfield is aging unless they keep playing in a Camavinga. But Benzema is a threat. But Edouard Mendy, Edouard Mendy's got Benzema's number, don't you worry. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys have enjoyed this uh preview. Let me know what your thoughts are for the team selection, what your thoughts are with the score prediction. And Reese James, once again injured. Let me know, ladies and gentlemen. Take care and see ya.